There's been a lot of discussion about how some of Samsung's newest smartphones handle thermal throttling of the SOC before it becomes an issue. Now this involves an application called the Game Optimizing Service, also being referred to as GOS. And it's been known to be installed on the Galaxy S10, Galaxy S20, the S21, and the S22 series. I assume it's also being done on the recent Galaxy Note series devices as well as many other Samsung Galaxy smartphones, but I have yet to see these mentioned in the recent tests that have been going around the Android community. However, if you are seeing the game optimizing service application installed on your Samsung Galaxy device, then it's likely affecting your device as well. Now what's happening is that Samsung wants to prevent these phones from getting too hot and using too much of your battery life when playing some of the most popular Android games. The way they are doing this is by using the game optimizing service app and just making sure that both the CPU and the GPU cores do not hit max frequency for long periods of time. This has upset a large number of people as they are being prevented from leveraging all of the hardware that their phones are capable of. Samsung has come out and explained their reasoning behind the actions but say they understand where the community is coming from and will include an optional toggle for this feature in the future. For now though, many Samsung users are wanting a way to stop this service from throttling their smartphone. And sadly, Samsung has made it incredibly difficult for us to do if we are on One UI 4.0 or higher. Now usually, I would just point people to my uninstall bloatware tutorials that I use AEDB and Fastboot tools for. But if we do this without root access, then the operating system will instantly enable the application again. So we have to go through a different process to block Samsung's game optimizing service from throttling our phones. See, the way this app works is that it connects to Samsung servers and downloads a list of application package names that it needs to target. And this is the weak spot of the operation since we can block apps from accessing the internet thanks to a free application in the Play Store called NetGuard. Now this process is quite detailed and needs to be done in a very specific way. Failing to follow these steps exactly could allow these apps to gain internet access, even just for a short period of time, and that allowing those apps to do that will allow them to download that application package name list. And that will require you to repeat these steps all over again if you want to play mobile games on your Samsung smartphone without being throttled. Now to find this app, we just need to open up the Play Store and search for the word NetGuard, all one word. And you can see it is from this developer with this app icon. And we can go ahead and install it right from here. Now once installed, we're going to open up the app, we're going to agree to the terms, and then we're going to go into the settings area by tapping the three dot menu icon at the top right and selecting the settings option. Now we need to dive into the advanced options section because we need to then enable the manage system apps toggle. This toggle is disabled by default. So we need to enable it before going back a couple of times and letting the application list refresh on its own. Once that toggle has been enabled, we're going to search for the word game. And that's going to show at least three different results. 
So we have the game optimizing service, the game launcher, and the game booster. These are the three applications that we are focusing on here. And just as this reminder tells us, if the icon is green, that means we are allowing internet access through that method. If it is red, then we are denying internet access through that method. So we have Wi-Fi is the first icon, and then mobile data is the second icon. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna disable internet access through both Wi-Fi and mobile data on all three of these applications, the game booster, the game launcher, and the game optimizing service apps. Now, once all three of these have been disabled, we're gonna back out of the search user interface to where we can see the toggle right here. And we are going to enable the NetGuard VPN by tapping that toggle. We're gonna to tap on okay. And likely we need to set up this VPN. So we're gonna tap on okay, tap on okay. We're gonna then go back and you can see that the VPN is enabled by this icon in the top right corner of the status bar. We can also refresh this list to get our disabled apps up here brought to the top of the list. And now we need to go through each of these applications. We're gonna expand that application and then tap the gear icon for that app. This is gonna take us to the app information page for that app which we can then scroll down a little bit, select the storage option, and then clear the data for that application. We will then go back, select the next application in this list, the game launcher, tap the gear icon again, tap the storage option again, and then clear data again. And lastly, we are gonna do this for the game optimizing service application into the app info page, into storage, and then clear the data for that app as well. Because remember, these apps are downloading data from the internet so that they can throttle your games. When we disable the internet and erase all data that they have downloaded, then it resets them and gives them a blank slate. Next up, we are going to disable both Wi-Fi and mobile data. If you have mobile data enabled, we're gonna disable mobile data and Wi-Fi from the quick settings panel. And then we can restart the device. We do not want to restart until mobile data and Wi-Fi have been disabled. And this is just helping to clear the cache of those apps and clear any other miscellaneous information that they have stored and are keeping temporarily. Now once we are back into Android, we're gonna wait a little bit for the operating system to load up everything. And if you want, we can go ahead and open up the NetGuard application. And make sure that the toggle is enabled Make sure that you see this lock icon in the top right, which means that VPN access is enabled, which is how this application works. 
And once all of that is done, then we can go back and enable Wi-Fi and mobile data. Once internet has been re-enabled, this notification should change to show us how many applications are allowed internet access and how many have been blocked. And as you can see, three are currently blocked because those are the three applications that we chose to disable here. This completes the whole tutorial, and now you are able to play your mobile games without any CPU or GPU throttling. This should result in games like PUBG, Fortnite, Gimshin Impact, Shadowgun Legends, and many others performing much better than before. Some are seeing a small 2 to 5% increase in frames per second, while others are seeing much better results after we have blocked these apps from accessing the internet. Now, fair warning though, Samsung put these restrictions in place for a reason. Sometimes this is to prevent the phone from heating up for long periods of time, while in other cases it's just to, to save some battery life. But if you want to unleash the full potential of your hardware, then go through these steps to stop the game optimizing service from throttling your Samsung Galaxy smartphone or tablet.